Hello, and welcome back to my playthrough of Pokemon Alpha Sapphire. In the last episode, we went to Petalburg City and we defeated our father, Norman, the Petalburg Gym Leader, got ourselves the Balance Badge, and that means now we have five badges, and we are... Well, we can't... I can't quite say that we're more than halfway through this game, but we're... we're getting close to... As, in terms of badges, we're more than halfway through the main part of this game. Um, but anyway, we also got the HM for Surf, which we can now use because we have the Balance Badge. So I did a little tweaking with my team. I got, um, I gave Surf to Mira B. Replaced. I actually ended up replacing um, Uproar instead of Bubble Beam, just because Uproar. I mean, it's kind of useful for type diversity, and it's a powerful attack. But I just can't see myself using it so much. And for Bubble Beam and Surf, just when I'm training and stuff, I want to have, you know, a di like enough power points to make it through training sessions if I need to, so I'd, I'd rather have two water attacks. Anyway, um, so here I, I did a little more switching in my team. I put Normal back on. Cotton Eye Joe's still here. I believe I turned off the experience share. At least I think I did. Let me see. Let me double check. Um, now it's off. Okay. I, I kind of want it still on because a couple of my Pokemon aren't quite caught up. But most of my Pokemon are starting to creep into overleveled territory. So I think for a couple of episodes, we'll just keep it off and see what happens. Anyway, now we're in Mauville City. We need to go east to, what was it, Route 118, I believe. We need to go beyond the sea, as, as they said in the previous episode. All right, so let's get going, I guess. Um, do we already, we already fought the trainers? No, we didn't fight the trainers here yet. Okay, well, there we go then. You know, come to think of it, I was just thinking about how I have Cotton Eye Joe out and I've been, you know, I want to level him up. But I haven't taught him that many, he hasn't learned too many useful attacks. I mean, he knows takedown, which is good, but not so good because of the recoil damage. Round is okay, disarming voice, not great against gloom. I should look into my TMs and see if I have anything good to teach him. I'll do that after this battle, but for now I think Nermal would be a better choice against this Gloom. Ah, Sleep Powder. I mean, we're pretty close in level here, so this is, could be difficult. So I'll just see what happens. Nermal is a little bit faster, I guess, which is interesting. Alright, this Mega Drain is kind of doing a lot. Not too much, but can't take too many of those. Okay, it's going to Lucky Chance. Um, I'm fine with that, I guess. I'm not trying to count on critical hits right now. All right, good. Wake up. Lava Plume. Oh, almost one hit KO. Oh, got the burn, too. Okay, and you're just going to Lucky Chance again and let the burn finish you off. That's fine. I mean, you could have Mega Drained and probably saved yourself for another turn, but I'm fine with that. All right, so I'm just going to keep Normal out because I don't want to have to switch in back into this Roselia. I'll let Cotton Eye Joe get some experience another time. Oh, Giga Drain. That's... Ooh, yeah, that's going to do quite a bit more. This Roselia is faster than me. Okay, got the burn on it too, which is good. Okay, so this burn would probably knock it out. If it uses Giga Drain again, I think now is a good chance to switch back into Cotton Eye Joe. And then, even with Giga Drain, the burn might be enough to finish it off, depending on how much this recovers. Yeah, not too much, because it's not very effective, but yeah, the burn wasn't going to be enough that time. That's okay, though. I think I can take it from here. I'm just going to use Magical Leaf. I'm going to use Round, but it didn't really matter what I used, since it didn't use Giga Drain. It's gonna, it would have gotten knocked out by the burn anyway. But okay, that was pretty good. And Nermal's at level 28. Good, good. Got to get these two caught up. All right, so let's check out, real quick, let me check out the TMs. Let me put this in order, I guess. Let me see if I have anything good. Toxic, for Cotton Eye Joe specifically. Double team, echoed voice, not that strong, not as strong as round. Steel wing, for type diversity maybe, but it would be nice if I had a flying type attack. But for now, I guess not. Um, let me see if I... I could 
probably teach it Steel Wing. Let's give it a try. Um, not that I need any more steel attacks, but just for the sake of giving him something else. Um, as much as Refresh could be a useful attack, I don't think I'm going to be using it very much, so... In main playthroughs of games, I tend to just go with all attacking moves for the most part. So, that's that. Okay, so now, well, I shouldn't have X'd out of my items, actually, because I want to restore both of my Pokémon here. Let's see, how about a Soda Pop? Yeah, both of you restored just one HP shy of fully recovered. Um, okay, yeah, you're not a trainer. You know what, I should turn on the dowsing machine because I love wearing these little things. Did I already... I feel like I already fought some of these people. Yeah, I fought the fisherman. And... I don't... Sure, how do you find... Finding Pokemon underwater. Um... Are you talking about... Oh. Okay, this is like... There's a sneaking... There's a sneaking feature when you're using Surf, just like there is on land. Okay, I haven't fought this guy yet, but he's probably gonna use electric types, so I should switch again back into normal. Um... So, what was I saying? Oh yes, the sneaking technique that you can use in the grass and in caves works the same while you're surfing. If you use the analog stick, you can kind of sneak, like, surf slowly toward the Pokémon that's hiding there. Which, when I think about it, I'm wondering if I should use a uh, Repel. Because generally the Pokémon I'll be running into with Surf are Tentacool and, like, Wingull or Pelipper. Which I'm not particularly interested in, to be honest, so... Oh, wait. I went down too far. I meant to switch... I meant to switch back into Cotton Eye Joe, but I guess Normal will be taking on this Loudred. Which reminds me, I never did put Steven Tyler on my team. I guess I just had too many Pokémon rotating around on my team to give him a spot, I guess. I feel kind of bad about that, but... That's okay. Maybe I can turn him into a contest star or something. That seems more Steven Tyler's speed, more the limelight, the glitz and glamour. All right, let's let's use a potion on Nermal real quick. And I guess let's use let's put up a repel because like I said, I can mainly while I'm surfing, I can mainly count on finding Tentacool, Wingull or Pelipper. None of which, like, I've already caught a Wingull and um, a Tentacool, so I'm not particularly interested in fighting them again. So let's go. This will also let us search around. As you can kind of see, if you if you have a good view of my deck snab there, I don't know how easy it is to see on your screen, um, but on my lower screen, you can see that if I fish, I could find um, Carvana and Sharpedo, but I'm pretty sure that's only with the good or Super Rod. Definitely the Super Rod for Sharpedo. But I don't have those yet, so that'll have to wait for another time. I'm pretty sure I don't have the good rod, right? This is the old rod? I guess it won't tell me. I'm pretty sure. Based on the level of the Pokemon we encounter, we'll know for sure. Kind of cool. Yeah, probably the old rod, although I think you can catch them with the good rod, too. Yeah, level 5. Okay, so yeah, we've only got the old rod. I know I could have just gone into my items and checked, but that was more deductive. Deductive research there. But anyway, let's fight a fisherman. Fisherman Bar Barney with Carvana. Okay, well, actually, this is a case where disarming voice could be fairly useful against... Carvana, as a dark type, part dark type. Ooh, that Assurance, though. I believe Assurance does more damage if you've been damaged that turn, so because he went before me, that actually kind of saved me. Oh, Ice Fang! Why didn't you lead with that? I was not expecting that because you didn't lead with it. Oh, no, I'm... 
I'm so sorry, Cotton Eye Joe. Man, I feel terrible now. I don't know why I sent out Stitch. I don't really have something even neutrally effective against him with Stitch. But I could try using Confuse Ray or something. And he goes with that Ice Fang again. I guess I could have used Tonka. Just that Tonka would be weak to any water type attacks he might use. Let me see if I can get him to hurt himself in confusion. And then... Well, we'll see how this goes. I could end up... Oh, he hurt himself. Okay, good. Oh, yes! Yes, that was eno enough to knock him out. I was wondering if it would be, because Carvana's attack is so high and defense is so low. Okay, Gyarados. Let's send out Cotton Eye Joe just to... to get the experience. Then... Hmm... Well, Gyarados could have a water attack, but I still think I'll send out Tonka, because Tonka's got pretty solid defense, so... Tonka could probably resist a couple of attacks from this Gyarados. So let's see what happens. Yeah, I'm just gonna go for Bite. Yeah, I barely did a scratch. And I'll Rock Slide for super effective damage. And he's just going to go thrashing about, which will do next to nothing to me, even less than Bite, because I resist that four times. And Rock Slide. Oh, I got a crit. And one hit KO'd it. Well, that was fun. Terribly sorry that you had to go through that, Cotton Eye Joe, but I did avenge you quite well. Man, that was a nasty trick, though. He led with Assurance, so I didn't expect him to use Ice Fang. I would have thought he would have used Ice Fang from the start if he had it. But that's okay. Um, wait. I didn't want to... No, I want to do this. There we go. I was trying to organize my items a little bit. Because I, I knew my super potions were at the bottom of my inventory. Alright, enough of this. Let's see. Oh, the music just changed key. Alright, let's get some hidden items. Got an iron. Iron. Lyron. Alright, well, we'll use it on Tonka. Do some not so EV training, but kind of. Oh, hey, speaking of a good rod, this is where we get the good rod. Alright. In that case, let's register the good rod in place of the old rod. Um, I don't think I'm going to go around... Well, I could see if I could have a... I could see if I can catch a Carvana with the good rod. But I don't really know if I can or not. Like, Well, let's try a couple of rounds. I'm not going to go crazy about it, but I'll, I'll have a couple of tries with it. See if I can find... Or if I can find anything at all. I have some time, though. Man, this music, it, it's weird. It seems to keep going up and down in key. Maybe it's just my imagination. S something bite? Jeez. There we go. All right, let's see what we can find. And it's a tentacle. Okay, well, I'll try to I'll try to fish up two more Pokemon and see what we can find. Level's pretty high though, level 25. Okay, got a second Pokemon. And it's a Magikarp. All right, not looking much better now. Okay. I'm going to go for one more catch. See what I get, and then move on. Well, nothing is biting this time. Let's try again. And nothing biting again. We'll just keep going until we get a bite again. There we go. Thought it wasn't going to happen. 
And another Magikarp. Okay. Well, you might be able to find Carvana here. I feel like it might just be with the Super Rod. But even if you can find him, I don't really want him that badly to, to keep doing this. So... Okay, we got these, this double battle here. Um, what I want to do... I'll put up Nermal. Nermal and Cotton Eye Joe, but it's probably gonna... The, the, the cameraman, I think, uses either a Magnemite or a Magneton, so I might switch out Cotton Eye Joe, but I'll lead like this and see what happens. Oh, you're Banana! Hi, do you remember us from last time? Can you show us how much stronger you've become? Okay, cue interview. Yes, yes, Gabby and Ty, they kind of, your paths cross several times. Okay, yeah, he has a Magneton. I might want to switch out here. Level 29, yeah, I'm not going to risk it. Let's see, who should I switch to? Tonka? Yeah, let's go Tonka, because I'll resist at least what Loudred can do. And then Earth Power. I might be able to one-hit KO this Magneton with Earth Power unless he has Sturdy, but even so, he might get off an attack on Cotton Eye Joe before I can knock him out. So I just want to be safe. I don't want to have to worry about reviving him. Not that I don't believe in you, Cotton Eye Joe, but I'm trying to protect you. Yeah, look, he attacked first, so... Yeah. And they also ganged up on Cotton Eye Joe's slot, so good thing I sent out Tonka. But now Earth Power did one hit KO the Magneton, but yeah, I wouldn't Cotton Eye Joe wouldn't have been able to survive it. And then he would have missed out on the um, experience, so it's a good thing I switched like that. Alright. Just flame burst, I guess. Iron Head almost one hit KO'd it. Oh yeah, that was a nasty hit. Good thing I survived that. Yeah, uproar, it's random who it hits, I guess. So, so good thing Nermal survived. And Nermal's level 29, wants to learn Curse. I don't really have a use for it, so... I mean, it's kind of a setup kind of thing. It's, it's good and everything, but I don't really... Um, like I said, for, for the main part of the game, it just uses... Like, too many turns, so I don't really, you know, I don't want to waste time like that for just the main story. It was short. Do you remember? That's the quote you gave us as the battle clincher last time. Yes, it is, because the battle was quite short. I never, ever forget stuff like that. Anyway, what do you think? Do you want to be interviewed again? Sure, why not? You will? Thank you! Okay, I need you to describe your feelings about our battle, but it has to be short and sweet. Go! Oh, like me. I'm short and sweet. It was short. How about it was sweet? No. Um. How about... Um. Let me count. Let me count spaces for a second. It was... Uh, no. Um. Let's be all, like, internet savvy here and just be, be like, Tonka for the win. There we go. Tonka for the win. We'll be keeping an eye out for you. Okay, thank you, Gabby and Ty. Okay, I'll, I'll stop using Repel for now because I don't know if I'm going to need it. Oh, I know what's coming next. Oh, do I do I want to spend time? Yeah, it won't take that long, actually. Sorry, I just I know what's coming next because I played Omega Ruby. But here we go. It's Steven. Why, hello. We met in Granite Cave, didn't we? No, I remember it. It's Banana. Right? It's good to see that your journey is going well. You know, Banana... In this vast world, there are many kinds of Pokémon. They come in many types. Should you raise different types, or will you only raise Pokémon of a certain type you like? I wonder what you think as a Pokémon trainer. Not that it's anything I should be concerning myself with. 
But somehow I find myself wanting to know what you think. I suppose I should be going. I hope to see you again, though. Is that that, really? Is that the end? No, it's not the end. What's this? Hmm? It's Latios! I love Latios, he's so awesome. Latios! Where does he go? They kind of sound like dolphins or whatever in the anime. Do you want us to soar somewhere with you? Banana, come with me. Latios, I believe that it sought us out for help. In that, if that's the case, let's go. Um, all right. Well, that escalated quickly. We're just moseying along, minding our own business, and next thing we know, we meet Steven, and then a legendary Pokemon comes down and just asks for our help, and then swoops us away off to some unknown island. What? This kind of part of the game, I feel like, is a little bit shoehorned in. Like, it doesn't really fit in with the rest of the story, but... I gotta say it's pretty cool, so I'll just go with it. We've arrived. Thank you, Latios. Looking around. I don't know what it is. Not quite unease, not quite fear. But there is something unsettling. It is an odd feeling, as though I am walking in a dream, or an illusion. Because we're in a mirage spot. I once heard an odd fable. It was said that the two Pokémon that live on this island guard some secret about that great form of evolution, Mega Evolution. Could it be that some dangerous element is here because of that? Come, we should be going. Alright, let me just check my team and see if we're in good shape to fight. Normal isn't really. So let's give her a little pick-me-up. Let's see, anybody else? Stitch, gotta get you up to speed here. Alright, we're all ready to go. Let's go see what this mysterious threat is. I bet it's Team Aqua, because why wouldn't it be? The hm mem de to carve their earths. Oh. Those whose memories fade seek to carve them in their hearts. Okay. Well, on that poignant note, let's enter. Oh, hi, Latias. How you doing? Just so, you know, no, no big deal seeing two legendary Pokemon in one day. Latias, it's beautiful. If I were to describe such beauty in terms of a stone, it would be a sunstone. No, it goes beyond that. Isn't its brilliance like that of a Dawnstone? It is a fantast it is as fantastic as a steel type Pokemon. But it's not, it's a dragon psychic Pokemon. Uh-oh. Dun da da da. Team Aqua, is it? So Latias noticed their coming, and that's why it called on us. It just like knew ahead of time. Okay, um, Aqua Admin Mad. He is probably a bro. Um, like a surfer bro. Huh? What's this? You. Huh? Mr. Matt, sir. That pipsqueak over there is the kid I, that I heard keeps getting in our way. B but that rather alluring gentleman with her. Oh, I feel like I should know him from somewhere. Yeah, maybe he's a contest star? Yeah, everybody in this game is kind of a running joke that everybody's kind of like smitten with Steven. It's kind of funny. Oh, -ho, I have no time to worry about that. The name's Matt. That's Team Awkward Min Matt to you. What I want from you is that Latias behind you there. Yeah, but that Megastone. We of Team Aqua are definitely going to need that transcendent power of Mega Evolution to achieve our ambitions. I'm like devolving into Valley Girl here. I need to take more, pay more attention to what I'm saying here. How about it? If you get out of our way, we won't rip you up. I'm not moving, so there. That's right, full points for the correct answer. Oh wait, this was a test? I'll take part in this battle as well. Let's protect Latias from these beasts together. 
we cannot allow Latias or even a Megastone to fall into the hands of such villains. Oh, if you're really that stupid, then I have no choice but to squash you, little bras. Sha. I don't know. I don't know what kind of voice I have. I'm just too busy surfing and weightlifting. All right, but ja. All right, enough of this. Enough of this. Ooh, that Sharpedo. I need to get out of here right quick. Oh, I forgot to heal Tonka. I am dumb. Let's just switch into Mirror B, because I... Well, Grimer could kind of hurt Mirror B, but it's at a lower level. Sharpedo's going to be the main threat, so... Yeah, see, so he went right for the Ice Fang that time. Okay, well, the Grimer wasn't even a threat. Which is fine. Um, let's see. My only grass attack is still absorb. I'm gonna fake it out first, I guess. I think it can work, right? Yeah. I know I'm gonna get rough skinned, but it'll make him flinch. And yeah, then Metang will get a clean hit on him. Except for that rough skin again. But yeah, my only grass attack is absorb, but it's still probably my best bet because it's super effective and it'll, and it'll recover some of my HP. Ooh, yeah, that thing hits nasty. Oh, but Matang got a crit. All right, let's see how much this absorb can do. Not bad. Um, I think it restored enough that I can survive another hit, so let's pick absorb again. Yes, yes. Steven's got that good AI going with bullet punch. Priority move on Sharpedo. All right, Mirror B, level 33. And Cotton Eye Joe, level 28. Hooray! I believe Cotton Eye Joe will evolve at level 35, if I remember correctly. So he's getting there. Eep! Oh, strong, ain't ya? You're an interesting punk, too. I'll give you that. I love interesting, strong dudes. That's why I love my bro, Archie. Yeah, see, he's a bro. Uh, and that's why I'm gonna start loving you too from now on, too. What? I read. <laughs> just, just. I, I saw it in the, in the special demo, too, but Aqua Admin Matt just has some of the funniest, weirdest, most awkward lines I think I've seen in a Pokemon game. I mean, and there are some weird lines in Pokemon games, don't get me wrong, but th this guy is just so full of what, I don't even... Did, whatever. Next time I see you, I'll smash you up real good, okay? Let's get out of here, you dull grunt. Sha. Yes, sir. Alright, well that was fun. Huh. Good work, Banana. Ah, that's right. We should first heal up the Pokemon that fought on our behalf, shouldn't we? Your team's health was restored, all right. You performed spectacularly. We were able to protect both this wondrous Pokemon and its Megastone, thanks to you. Yay, hi Latias. And it looks as though Latias may have also recognized you as a trainer worthy of its trust. Look, it's trying to offer you its allegiance. Well, just like that, I mean, you called us here in the first place, so. So how would you just mind in your own business wandering along? A legendary Pokemon asks for your help. You battle some people that aren't even that strong. And then it just wants to join your party. All right. That's cool. I'll take a free Latias. I prefer Latios, but Latias is cool too. All right. So we pretty much have to, I guess, switch. Um, I don't want to switch Ufu out, but he's the highest level right now. So he can take a break. Um, do I give a nickname? Yeah, I will nickname Latias, but I don't know what. What am I going to name her? Um, I am going to name her... Let me, let me see, let me see. Hold on, I, I just want to real quick, I, I want to really quickly check something. I'm not even going to cut the video... Um, yeah. I think because, I don't know if this quite fit for, fits for female Pokemon, but like, because 
I feel like this little adventure is so just shoehorned in because as you'll see, it's just supposed to be a way of introducing you to Mega Evolution eventually. I, I'm just gonna call, I'm just gonna call her, um, hold on. I wanna make sure, I wanna make sure I do this proper, properly. Yeah, okay, it goes like this. I am going to call her MacGuffin. I had to double check the, um, the capitalization parameters on that, whatever. All right, I'm going to call you MacGuffin. It's not a very effeminate name, but it's okay, Latias. You're gonna be MacGuffin from now on. And she's carrying Latiasite, of course. Yay! All right, now we have a MacGuffin. You should take this from me. What is it? Why'd I have to fade out? I wanna know what it is. Ooh, it's a Mega Bracelet. Yay, Mega Bracelet. I look so cool. With the Mega Bracelet that I ga just gave you and the Mega Stones that a Pokemon may hold, your Pokemon will be able to achieve a powerful boost, quite unlike any, form, any usual form of evolution, but only if you are bound by great affection. That's technically not true, because I think you can just get a Pokemon for the first time holding its Mega Stone and Mega Evolve it, but shh, we don't want to ruin the illusion. It's about affection and love and trust and the bond that's in the heart. Okay. You will be able to achieve Mega Evolution. I suggest you try it with Latias the next time that you happen to be to have the chance in battle. Mega Evolution is a phenomenon that has long been shrouded in mystery. What is a megastone? What is a keystone? The process by which bonds between Pokemon and people manifest in tangible power, how do we explain that? I hope the mega bracelet I just gave you might bring us one step closer to finding the answer to these questions. All right, thanks, Steven. If that settles that, should we be heading back? Together with Latios, waiting so patiently for us there. All right. Sure, this little side adventure, and then we just resume like nothing ever happened. Except that we have an awesome Latias now that can Mega Evolve. But anyway, we didn't even need the little flying cutscene the second time around, I guess. Thank you for your help, Banana. <laughs> Perhaps it's trying to tell you to take good care of Latias. Yeah, I should think so. I mean, since you just so easily, like, you were so worried about Latias being captured, granted by villains, but then you just let me kind of scoop her up without any, you know, without so much as a howdy-do. Oh, well. In the end, you are far greater help than I expected you might be. Uh, thanks? Sounds almost like a backhanded compliment. I expect that you and your team will be able to best both Route 119 ahead and even the Four Tree Gym beyond that. I'll be curious to see how much stronger you might grow by the next time we meet. Until then, banana. All right, well, that is that. So yeah, speaking of which, let's take a look at the map here. We still have a bit of a way ahead of us before we get to the next town. So instead of continuing for this episode, since we're about at the end, I'm just gonna do one battle. We're gonna try out MacGuffin here and practice mega evolving. Um. I don't even know if this is the order I had my team. It doesn't really matter, I guess. Okay, so MacGuffin here, I'm just gonna send her into one battle just to showcase some mega evolution, all right? Um, our cutting Pokemon is not here. We need our HM Butler, but that's okay. Ooh, what Pokemon is that? Sounds like Volbeat or Illumise? No, 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 Electrike. Okay, so actually I want to catch this one, I guess. How, no, wait, have I caught... No, I've already caught Electric. Never mind. I don't need to catch this one, right? I should be good then. I'm just gonna use MacGuffin here and Mega Evolve her. Yeah, and then we'll call it a day. Alright, so we're gonna Mega Evolve and we're gonna use... Let me check Mist Ball. Yeah, that's pretty strong. It's only got 5 PP, but oh well. Alright, here we go. The Mega Evolution cutscene. Mega Evolution! Woohoo! Mega Latias. 
No, the first time that the images of Megalatios and Megalatios were leaked, they kind of looked like the exact same model. But then if you look closer, there's actually subtle differences in like the shape of their head and everything, and their eye color. Their eye color kind of follows along. Um, let's see, I think Latios has... I think Latios has red eyes and Latios has yellow eyes, and they carry that over into the Mega Evolution. All right, though, we're about to set off. We're going to... Well, in the next episode, we're going to finish off the area around here on Route 118 and then go up to Route 119 and maybe make it to Fortree City at the end of the episode. But anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed this. So if you like this video, please leave a like. Also, subscribe if you want to stay up to date on when my latest videos come out. Also, if you would like to follow me on social media, you can like my page on Facebook or follow me on Twitter. The links are in the description. All right, guys, thank you so much for watching, and I will see you on the next episode of my playthrough of Pokemon Alpha Sapphire.